Okay, well I'm having a lot of fun with this little uh, wobbling needle pulse motor. And uh, it's very similar to the chaos motor that I showed in the uh, video about a year ago or so. In that the needle in the bearing here wobbles around and uh, it's not a, a tight fit on this. And in the other video I had a reed switch here and the magnets would trigger the reed switch in a chaotic way and uh, that's why I call it a chaos motor and I was fiddling around with it the other day and I used a straight needle with an eye in it and I had painted uh, with correction fluid on the needle here and had this wire running on the needle with the commutation going through the needle in this way and through the circuit and it was running fine and that wire jumped up to this brass screw and the motor kept right on running and that was the uh, thing that I found that uh, was different so I kept playing around with it and playing around with it and came up with this um, uh, wobbling needle uh, switch right here that is just the needle wobbling around in the bearing that causes the make and break and then yesterday I found out that I can put a bias magnet near the rotor here and change the uh, timing on it and get that to uh, do different things. Let's see if I can get it to go again here. There it goes again. And this was an interesting addition was a timing magnet so that the rotor tilts and fires at a different point based on where the eye of the needle hits the bearing surface. and. Um, this is the, of course, the flyback on the uh, coil, and I'm running it on a AA battery here. And uh, anyway, I just wanted to show that to some of the people that have looked at this motor and gone, "What the heck is going on?" Is this is uh, this is the switch right here? Is that needle wobbles around inside that uh, dished brass bearing cup? it makes and breaks the contact the energy comes through the needle or this way I'm not sure which way it goes and uh, that makes the circuit run with the electromagnet and the magnet pushes the rotor around and then this uh, little magnet over here uh, is the biasing to give you some timing and some adjustment on it then of course you can put this up and down to adjust the uh, amount of gap that's in that bearing right there but anyway that's the um, wobbling needle um, pulse motor. Here's the circuit diagram again of it and I'll, I'll do a showing of that and I had it running yesterday on one of these uh, uh, solar garden lights with the uh, 470 microfarad uh, capacitor and uh, then to, uh, last night I took this off, just put the AA battery on it. It draws, um, I believe, around 10 milliamps, but it's such a chaotic thing. Uh, it's hard to get a real bead on the actual uh, wattage going into this. Uh, when I use the little radio and listen to it, it's a very staticky um, contact breaking here. It's not clean at all. But um, that's some of the charm of this, the fact that it's such a... Uh, a strange little motor that uh, I thought I would share it with, uh, with the guys that are interested in this stuff. Sometimes uh, when you do stuff that's not real precise, um, it's a good thing. <laughs> anyway, that's one of those ex experiments that uh, I've had a lot of fun with. Thanks for watching.